Chemical eruption is an activity from the Royal Academy of Engineering as part of their Engineering in the Movie series. And it really relates to things like disaster films where you might have volcanoes exploding. And this ties in really well with chemical engineering. Now in this activity we use baking soda and vinegar and when they react together they release a lot of carbon dioxide gas which allows this volcano to erupt. The guide itself introduces some disaster movies and then there's a list of materials for the challenge where the students can make their own erupting volcano. There's also some questions so you can maybe turn this into more of an open-ended task where you maybe vary the quantities of the reactants and also kind of then measure the effect on the volcano that the students make. So following the instructions in the guide, I found that when I added six cups of flour, two cups of salt, four tablespoons of cooking oil, uh, and then I mixed it up with a bit of water so it was nice and smooth, I then added some red and also a bit of yellow food colouring as well as some washing up liquid to catch any bubbles which are produced in the reaction. What I then did was I added two tablespoons of baking soda to this liquid, and then when I had the volcano ready, and you can also make your own uh, volcano to go around the, bo the bottle, maybe make it out of foam or paper. You then pour vinegar into the bottle. That reacts with the baking soda, releasing carbon dioxide, and then the whole thing erupts. So this activity is really messy, but it's also really fun for your students. It works particularly well with key stage three science, and in particular chemistry, as well as key stage two and three design technology. So if you go to the STEM resources page, you can download your own copy of this resource for your students.